Hello, it's Duncan Bolam at the Redundancy Club, and I've been laying down quite a few films. I'm kind of um, talk about it's a bit like buses; um, they never come along, and then all, all of a sudden they come at once. So, a lot of people have been suggesting to me for quite a long time that I should start laying down some of my thinking as a kind of resource for those people who are stuck in dead-end careers, mundane work, lacking a sense of fulfilment. Um, that's if they're in work. And then obviously there's a whole new set of people, who, a growing number of people who've been made redundant and are out of work altogether. And obviously I'm keen to help them, hence the name, the Redundancy Club. And I've been talking a, a lot recently in some of my films about love. And the ability to take stock of ourselves, we call I call it self inventory. And if you've watched my films before, you'll be bored with me mentioning that. So moving swiftly on, I wanted to give you some pretty succinct help in this short film, and it's about how to encourage yourself. So the skills of encouragement and I'm writing a children's book uh, in my time other than writing about purpose and calling and passion and all these other things which I'm trying to to get out there in my creative pipeline and pattern recognition is a skill that almost boundaries along the side of synchronicity in terms of Jungian thinking that we the I believe the universe supplies us daily with a whole lot of hidden signals and when we come up against big barriers in our life adversity Often the reaction is like, like slugs and snails and sea anemones. We pull in our tentacles, we pull in our tendrils and recoil on the back foot, which is natural. It's a defence mechanism. It's totally fair in terms of the fight or flight mechanism. And therefore we don't recognise that we cease to be able to see the patterns that we're surrounded by. Now one of the patterns that I believe is the most important one in terms of self-management and to use an increasingly trendy fashionable phrase self-care is to look at the patterns of our life so from birth there's a lot of people talk about um, fetal awareness so how babies assimilate huge amounts of information in the womb from their environment from the mother's movements and heartbeat and we start becoming conditioned very very early into our life and that just grows and grows and grows and we just get a, an increasingly long database of patterns to review put under the microscope dissect have a think about our learning styles our work preferences our tastes our rich seams that we can mine to find out the answers in life's quest for stability, success, security, joy, whatever measures of success might meet your values. What are we like about the analysis of our life. There are lots of answers in the patterns. Mm -hmm. So it's a subtle one. It might be a bit deft. I've got another one of my daft hats on to help me think. Perhaps you could think too. If you need any more help, you know where I am. The redundancy.club. Good luck.